Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I was supposed to do like an outfits of the week type of video, but I've already missed two days of the week. I didn't have time to film my outfits, so I thought I would do just like a vlog type of thing and then insert the outfits when I remember to film them, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm just going to vlog over the next couple of days and uh, or maybe like the week and we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, anyway, today uh, is Sunday and I was thinking because next week I have um, a couple of like bigger events, like uh, we have our um, like work holiday party next week um, and then uh, then my husband and I are going out for dinner on Saturday because um, we're kind of celebrating our wedding ad anniversary in advance because we have plans on like other plans on that weekend so I thought I would just kind of play around with some makeup and kind of I don't know, plan what I'm going to do with my face <laughs> for those events. So it, this is kind of like a get ready with me slash vlog slash outfits of the week. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll put like timestamps in the description box if there's like, like if you want to skip the get ready with me part. If you're not interested in that, then you can just watch the other parts. But yeah, uh, let's get started. I just put on my uh, moisturizer. I don't have any other makeup. And I think I'm going to do my eyes first because <clears throat> I want to practice uh, some kind of like glittery, shiny makeup. Guys, <clears throat> do you have to do that here? <laughs> Sorry, my dogs. <laughs> uh, so I know there's gonna be some fallout, so I will do my eyes first and then my like skin. And I always use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, the original one, because I like I haven't found anything that's like cheaper that would work as well, at least for me. Sorry, my mirror is kind of has fingerprints on it and stuff. So yeah, this has been a pretty exciting couple of weeks. I actually submitted my PhD thesis for like the what's it called? Like the preliminary examination. So, one of my dogs is cleaning my other dog's face. I don't know, it's leaking its face, it's really annoying. What are you eating? Grass. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, baby. Hmm? Here's another one. Big hole today, minus five. Yeah, so I actually, it's actually done. <laughs> like five years of work, almost five years of work. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but it's still like there's going to be like I don't know how the system works in other countries, but in Finland it's like there's the this preliminary examination and then after that 
um, it takes like about two months and there are like two people who like read it and give their comments and whether they recommend it to be accepted and so on and then um, there's going to be the public defense after that so that will be in the winter, spring uh, sometime but yeah it feels kind of surreal because I've been working on it for so long of course I've been doing other stuff too like I've been teaching and like you know going to conferences and stuff but yeah still it's been like years of work uh, I'm using the Too Faced peach palette and I, I've been using this like a whole year um, it's just I just love it so yeah I kind of feel weird right now because I've been working on that research project for so long and now it's kind of well it's not over because I have to wait for the comments and stuff but it's like kind of I can't do anything about it at this point so I can just focus on other stuff and it's like really weird because I've been focusing on that particular thing for like <laughs> well years so I used to use the color Georgia this is I think the one that I used the most I don't know anything about makeup really so please don't judge me and then I use this darker col color called Caramelized. My voice is still kind of rough because I woke up. Just woke up and had breakfast like not that long ago. I'm using this white color called White Peach to just kind of blend it. So yeah. And one of my friends was actually here on Friday, so we had a little girls night and that was really fun. We just like talked until like, I don't know, like 2 in the morning. So then I have the um, Norwina, Norwina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Which I like, but it's like there's so much fallout. I think that because I have the Modern Renaissance palette and there's also quite a lot of fallout, but I don't mind that because I still have the plastic on the mirror. I don't mind that because uh, it's really pigmented and the fallout isn't that bad. But this is, I don't know, because it's, I guess it's because it's like less like the colors aren't as warm toned but it's like more difficult to blend and stuff and it still has a lot of fallout so it's kind of annoying so I mostly use the like the top row the shimmery ones in this one you can tell that I'm not like a beauty guru because I can't even I don't even know how to show this but I think what I'm going to do is Oh, my brushes are dirty. Should I go for the rose? I think I'll go for the rose gold. I think that's kind of a Christmassy. And here's where the fallout uh, situation is gonna get really, like, really bad. But I'm just going to put that on the lid. Yeah, you can already see that there's quite a bit of fallout, but that's why I didn't do my face makeup first. I don't like using these like for like because of uh, environmental reasons, but sometimes they just the only thing that's practical. I'm going to go back into this palette and use this summer yum color. Anyway, I thought I would because I don't know, I'm feeling kind of 
maybe it's because I got my thesis done and I'm kind of, I'm not on holiday or anything, but I'm kind of like relieved. <laughs> so I'm feeling a bit Christmassy already. I think I'm going to, I was actually listening to Christmas music yesterday, <laughs> like last night, and I think I'm going to maybe put up some decorations today. We're going to spend Christmas at my parents' house, so I'm not going to put a ton of decoration here, like at home, because we won't be here for like the actual like, holidays. But it's nice to have something like in in December still. So. I think I want something a bit lighter in the in the inner corner of the eye. So I'm going to take like a small this kind of a small brush and then there's the shade. This one, Dreamer, and the Norwina palette. Just put that in the corner. Okay, it's still kind of golden, but I think well, this kind of golden shimmers are like if you're going for like a holiday party look, then it's fine. And it's obviously it's fine anyway, <laughs> you can do whatever you want, but use this NYX Tame and Frame in the, sh um, like the pom pomade, pomade, how do you pronounce that? In the shade Espresso, I've used this for a long time. Um, mm. I've promised to do like uh, my husband does my makeup that video like a while ago, <laughs> but we never get around to filming it. But I think it would be kind of funny because he he has like no idea what any of this stuff is. Not that I'm an expert, but still, I don't know. It might be funny. <clears throat> there's been a strike like in here in Finland there's been like a postal the postal workers have been on strike so I haven't received any of my parcels there's a couple of things I've ordered but I don't know when they will come because of the strike it takes a like a lot longer than usual so I have some like clothing haul videos that I'm going to film but I don't know when because I don't know I think they have like the negotiations are like today so let's hope that they get it resolved but I'm not like because some people are like super mad and like just thinking about their own thinking about themselves really but it's really about like like the wages are quite poor so I really kind of understand why why they are um, on strike but obviously because it's the post um, it's gonna be like, there's a lot of like consequences to that. I also have this, this is also from NYX, so this is Build Em Up Powder Brow Filler. And this is just, I want to, well, fill the, if there are some gaps or anything. I'm not crazy about this one because this is also kind of, it's a bit too powdery, so there is some fallout in this as well. I 
brows are like really like a personal thing, like personal preference. I know some people probably don't like the way I do my brows, but yeah, <laughs> who cares? I think they're like fairly, fairly symmetrical. <laughs> it's the best I can do. Mm -hmm. So now we can move on to concealer. This is from L'Oreal and it's the True Match Concealer. I'm not crazy about this, I'm not gonna lie. I had the MAC one and that was a lot better so I'm going to get that. But I was being cheap so I just got this one. And this doesn't really cover my like the under eye area as much as I would have liked to but I knew that going in because the salesperson says that it's more like a brightening like concealer and doesn't have a lot of coverage but I was being cheap and I just wanted to buy the cheaper one I was like yeah I think I'm sure it'll be enough well guess what it's not enough not with this <laughs> not with this sleeping schedule I'm sorry this is gross I should clean it but this is also the two match uh, foundation and I like the foundation a lot more than the than the um, what's it called the uh, concealer uh, I have so much like I love this time of the month because there's like so much going on like this like so many like parties and um, like a lot, a lot of reasons for to like dress up and I'm just looking forward to that all of that I'm thinking that next week for the like our work holiday party I think I'm going to wear the boohoo dress that I got in my last haul like the black one with um, the sequins I just have to figure out what I'm going to wear underneath that because it's really kind of plunging and I don't want to like show off too much of my bra because it's still even though it's like informal it's still like a work it's still like work related and I don't really like the because everyone's like you can put a cami underneath it but I don't really like the way that it looks so I feel like some kind of cute like bralette that doesn't look too like underwear <laughs> underwearish See, I'm wearing a dress from Rose Gal, by the way. I don't remember if... I think, yeah, I think I bought this. I, I definitely bought this myself. So it's not like gifted or anything like that. Uh, I'll put some contour. This is like, you can... <laughs> it's so old that it's been like... It's faded because I don't need a lot. This is from Maybelline, I think, originally. Oh, the ring light really, really shows like everything. <laughs> Why am I using the viewfinder to put on makeup when I have a perfectly good mirror here? I don't wear like for it like all the time, so I don't really need that much because I like. I have pretty high cheekbones, so I have kind of like a natural contour anyway. Then uh, I used the NARS blush in Orgasm 
This is like my favorite. I use this. I think like almost every day. It's my favorite blush. It's just... It's just the perfect shade. It's no wonder it's like a classic. Then I think we're going to do some highlighting. <sighs> what should we do for highlights? I'm going to use this. This is from Sleek, Ooh, Sleek Makeup. And again, it's covered in fingerprints, I'm sorry. Maybe I can use the makeup wipe to kind of clean it up. Um, So yeah, I'm looking forward to next week. I just mix these two uh, shades. Highlight to the gods. A little bit over the cupid's bow. Okay, I ran out of battery on my camera, so... We will continue with my phone. I don't know how that's going to turn out because well, the highlight is really intense. <laughs> uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out because I don't like I don't usually use this phone for filming because it doesn't focus unless I'm really close. But I'm pretty close now, so. Um, <clears throat> I got a couple of new uh, lashes. I got the Ardell Wispies and then these natural ones um, and then some adhesive because um, my old one is getting kind of gross. I think I'm going to save the Wispies for the... I don't want to wear them today. I'm I want to wear them like... I want them to be like fresh for the uh, for the holiday party. I'm using this. I got a new liner, so this is just this is just a cheap one from Kix, which is like um, cosmetics store. So this is their store like brand. Oh, this doesn't look good. See, there's like a. focus anyway there's like a some of the strands in the brush are like all over the place so we'll see well, at least it's dark but yeah some of the um I don't know, fibers? What the fuck are they called? <laughs> uh, you know, the things on the brush, some of them have been kind of like twisted and doesn't look good. Yeah, this is kind of mm, not the best. It's not the worst, but then again, it was cheap. That's one eye done. Let's move on to the second one. Second one always, I always fuck up the second one. Okay, the brush didn't look very good. But it's actually kind of, it's actually kind of easy to use. So that's a plus for someone like me who doesn't really know how to do makeup. <laughs> but it's kind of, you need to keep dipping it in the, 
and the liner doesn't pick up as much color as I would like for it to. But it's not bad. I definitely expected worse. Bristles. That's the word I was looking for. The bristle. Bris nah. The bristles on the brush, uh, some of them are kind of twisted. And it's a pretty uh, wide brush, so if you want to do a, like a really, really thin line, that's not maybe the best option, but I like to do a kind of a thicker line, so it feels really wet, so I think it'll take a minute for it to, to dry. So I'll do my lips in the meantime. Um, uh, using this MAC lip liner in a cherry and then I'm going to use this uh, MAC lipstick in Lady Danger it doesn't really match the liner but um, this is clearly like more like an orangey red or a bright red and this is more like a blue tone red but I feel like when I layer them it kind of works it becomes like this kind of classic red that I like so I'm not really that particular about this kind of stuff if you can't tell nice bright like Christmassy red um, then I'm going to put on some mascara this is from Essence and this is actually pretty good this was like three or four euros it's the curl and volume mascara and I just bought it at like the local grocery store or whatever the brush is pretty huge but it's it serves its purpose I don't put on a lot because I'm going to put on lashes, like the false lashes, the Ardell ones. Okay, I got the lashes on. With the lashes, it's just kind of, you just have to practice. <laughs> and someday it will work out. Some days are be better than others. It's very philosophical. My hair is kind of eh. <laughs> today because I um, washed it before I went to bed but like this is just like a practice makeup I'm not actually going anywhere except like the grocery store so yeah that's what it looks like this is my outfit for the day so it's just this black rose girl dress it has this kind of corset style top and then i'm just wearing leggings and woolen socks because it's hella cold and um yeah when i go outside i'm going to put on a cardigan and a warm coat obviously but inside it's fine like this words but I will let them bruise even though it hurts I won't show it to you cause it will ricochet I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright like a ricochet it will come back to you let me tell you because my eyes are open, your words will keep bouncing away And even if you're trying to hurt 
used to let it in. 